Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm gonna cover how you can start your own recruiting and staffing business with no experience and zero clients. Look, I know the fear that comes with potentially leaving your nine to five job to pursue something brand new, but I've done it. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps I took to build a successful recruiting agency from scratch. So if you've ever dreamed about being your own boss, stick around guys, this video is exactly for you. Look, feeling apprehensive and nervous about leaving a steady paycheck for something new, like starting your own recruiting business and getting out of your comfort zone, it's scary and you're definitely not alone. I was in the exact same boat years ago. I went from working at a larger staffing agency where I was cold calling, I was on the road every week, traveling, not being in my own bed, living out of courtyard Marriott hotels, not seeing my kids, soccer games, high school events, recitals, and not even spending time with my wife. I really ended up like hating my job and not liking waking up in the morning and doing what I was doing. And I just knew there had to be a better way. So I did, I started my own recruiting business with zero clients. And at the time, I didn't really know the best way to start, but now I do through trial and error, through blood, sweat and tears. And thankfully I'm gonna save you all that and give you the shortcuts and show you the exact steps that I took to be successful to launch and create a successful recruiting business and get clients at scale. So let me go ahead and break it all down so that you can confidently take that leap and build your new agency from the ground up. So step number one, you're gonna build your online presence. Think of your LinkedIn profile as your personal website. It should scream professionalism and it should be very clear and easy for your prospects, your ideal clients and candidates to understand exactly what you do. I think the mistake that most recruiters make in the beginning who start their own agencies is they come into LinkedIn and they think about themselves naturally because they're very excited about their new business and they wanna let the whole world know about it. And what we tend to do in that frame of mind is talk about us and what we can do for you. And that is the wrong way to approach your LinkedIn optimization. So what you're looking at right here is my profile and I want you to pay close attention as I'm gonna not only show you my profile, but many other members that I coach right now within the Recruit Me program. And as you can see, I'm a really big fan of creating a professional banner. Anything that shows you speaking in a position of authority is very important psychologically for people to build trust in you. So if you have something like this where you've spoken before, I would highly recommend that you put it up here on your banner. And I also want my prospects to understand that I'm in the 5G wireless industry. It screams it right here. That's what I do. Very specific to my niche. And then I repeat it right here in my tagline off my name. So what I typically see here that most recruiters do is they list their company right here in this huge space. They will list their name. They'll say, this is how you contact me and they're just talking about their new company. And unfortunately, guys, nobody cares. They don't care about you. They care about themselves. That's just the world that we're in right now. And you literally have two seconds to capture the prospect's attention, especially a hiring manager who's really busy and getting hit up by a million recruiters. So make it very clear to them what you do, why you're relevant, and you're not the jack of all trade recruiter. And the goal is that you want them to connect with you and you want them to start messaging you back. All right, so moving down, your profile picture, guys, really simple, professional picture, right? This is a professional network, it's LinkedIn, it's B2B sales. Try to have a suit on if you can. Try to bring your face close up where the prospect can see your eyes, it builds trust. Nothing too crazy in here, keep it conservative. Now, as far as the headline, very important here. You want to speak to your customer about what you think their problem is and how you can solve it, and also exactly what you do, but very quickly with some key words. And that's what I do right here. So recruiting wireless engineers, I put some word tracks in here that are specific to the wireless industry. So I'm building authority and credibility with my prospects. I came up with this dream method. It's just something I came up with. People like acronyms. You could think of something as well. And then I talk about how we have a 92% placement retention rate and we value quality over quantity because I know that one of the biggest pain points in the wireless telecom industry, it's a revolving door. A lot of technicians come and go and these managers are tired of spending time, money, hiring. And so when they see something like this, 92% retention rate, 
it makes them think that, oh, I wonder what he's doing to make his people stick and not quit and not be a revolving door. And then guys, the final piece that you wanna focus on is your about section. This is very important for the LinkedIn algorithm. The LinkedIn algorithm picks up your keywords in your about section. So definitely dive in here, take your time, put a lot of effort into this and structure it in such a way where it's easy to read, uh, but also make sure it's keyword rich with your recruiting niche. So let me jump out to my home screen. And what I love about this is anytime that I come into LinkedIn, typically I'm gonna see a bunch of my members in here and voila. So here's Chelsea Leon, she's one of my members. She's awesome and she's crushing it right now. So we do a lot of her content writing for her. And here's her profile, very creative, recruiting passive A player candidates for the CPG industry. And then her headline right here repeats that, placements, operations, the keywords, et cetera. And she has a 90 plus percent placement retention rate. So good stuff there. If I go back out to the homepage, I'm gonna see more members here and give you examples. Here's Terrence, he's a member of mine. Let me see Terrence's profile, a healthcare recruitment agency. There it is guys, so easy to understand what Terrence does, I love it. So Terrence is not sitting there talking about himself, he's talking about like how he can help you if you're in healthcare, right? Very specific, makes it very easy on the eyes and clear and simple. Another one of my members, LinkedIn profiles that I wanna share with you, which I think is so right to the point, is Mary, who's also crushing it in healthcare. So again, healthcare recruiter, her headline speaks to that, very simple to understand, great profile picture, awesome banner. So if I'm looking to hire someone in healthcare and I get a message from Mary and I land on her LinkedIn page, it's going to make me want to connect with her and learn more. All right, step two, guys, get a professional email. This part is crucial. You want to look like a serious player, so invest in a business email with your domain name. I use Gmail for business, what you're looking at right now. It's so simple to set up. It's like less than $10 a month, and it will give you that extra layer of professionalism when you're reaching out to clients. Step three, prospecting for your first client. So now that you're set up online for success, it's time to go hunting. And here's the truth, clients are not going to come to you. You've gotta go find them. So I recommend three powerful strategies, and that's LinkedIn outreach, cold emailing, and one-on-one -on -one personalized videos. Let's take a look at LinkedIn outreach and how you can scale that while you're working a nine to five, if you don't have all the time during your day to be manually prospecting and cold calling, et cetera. We have a system called Recruiting Me Leadcast, but if if you have a system like this or you can find this is what you want to do you want to be able to load up campaigns in LinkedIn sales navigator of people prospects that you want to market to companies through doing searches back here let's say that you want to go after project managers I use this as an, as an easy example and then you get a hit right here of many project managers but you want to whittle this search down to a certain area and get a manageable number of like maybe 1500 leads you're then gonna bounce into Recruiting Me Leadcast and you're gonna create a new campaign right here. Let me move my face over, click the navigator box, paste that URL, name it Project Managers on the West Coast, hit next, and then within seconds, those 1500 leads are gonna populate into your Leadcast account, which is not LinkedIn, right here, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up an artificial uh, sequence that's gonna go out to these prospects with messages, with video messaging, with connection requests, just like Marcy did right here, who's one of my members. So we're gonna um, verify their email, and then we're gonna start cold emailing them through the system with these type of messages right here. Three cold emails, and then if they don't respond to your cold email, the system is gonna hit them with the connection request after a few days. If they don't connect, then we're gonna hit them with an in-mail message. If they do connect, they're gonna get three DMs. So all this is working for you on automation while you're sleeping. Can you imagine the power of this of 1,500 or 2,000 leads getting all these different steps throughout the day? That's exactly what you need is a system like this to help you do the hunting. And then what happens is messages start flooding in. So when you get home from work, if you're still maintaining your job, you come in here, you check your one unified messaging area, and you're gonna see all these people re reaching back out to you like Jim did right here. He's asking Marcy to send the candidate to his email. Let's see what Keith says. Where's the candidate located? Guys, these are cold hiring manager prospects who are literally responding to automated robot messages. They think it's really you. They don't need to know the difference. You drive them to a Zoom call, further qualify their business, and voila, you're making over $20,000 a month 
because this is how you scale out your biz dev efforts. So this system right here does cold email as well as LinkedIn outreach and one-on-one -on -one personalized videos, which I love. I use a platform called Dub. I'll link their discount code below if you wanna check out their software, but I've been using this for several years. This is a great way to do outreach once a client, just like I do right here, I practice what I preach. It's got your branding on the video page. Let me open up one of my pages. Yep, here we go. And you come on, you talk to your prospect, right? And they have a calendar below, they can book a call with you. I set up a reel of testimonial videos that runs after my pitch video. They have call to actions right here to book with me, connect with me on LinkedIn, whatever it is. So that's what you need guys to get your first client. You need a steady dose to be able to scale your biz dev efforts. You don't wanna sit there on a Monday and Tuesday and surf the internet and make a few phone calls here and there and type some emails out. It's not gonna get you anywhere. It's gonna get you in a land of frustration and probably burnout. So again, it's gonna be a system where you can scale out your LinkedIn outreach through messaging, through connection request, as well as cold email, as well as video marketing. Once those prospects are biting, send like 12 videos a day to the prospects and you're gonna get like a 30% reply rate. All right guys, step four, low hanging fruit for the quick win. So as you're searching for clients, look for industries with high volume and low barrier roles. Think general labor, logistics, warehouse openings. These jobs are so much easier to fill than most niches like healthcare and IT and they're easier to get your foot in the door. Start where the volume is, gain experience, and just scale up from there, and then you can branch out into maybe some niches that you're considering right now, like IT and healthcare, which by the way, are great niches. I'm not saying you should not do that, but there's other ways to get your foot in the door quicker, and the low-hanging fruit is where you wanna to go to start getting some cash in the door. Step five, contact companies directly. Look at job boards like Indeed or Craigslist or ZipRecruiter to find companies that are already hiring for roles like drivers or warehouse workers. Then all you gotta do is look up the hiring managers on LinkedIn or Sales Navigator and contact them directly through a message. Maybe it's through LinkedIn or email, and just let them know how you can fill their roles a lot faster and more efficiently. And step six guys follow up like a pro consistent follow-up is key i love following up with a video message but anything you do whether it's a phone call or an email just do it and please do not give up after the first attempt the reality is guys most clients will respond to you after the third or fourth attempt persistence really is what separates the most successful recruiters from the rest of the pack so there you have it guys a complete roadmap and blueprint to starting your own agency from scratch with no experience i know it can be intimidating but if i can do it with no experience and getting no clients you can surely do it as well. So make sure to take massive action on everything that we discussed today. And if you got value from this video, please go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and any comments below, we get back to you in a timely fashion. And if you want more tips and tricks and guidance on how to start your recruiting business and how to put all these systems in place, there's a link in the description below that will take you right to our training site a very affordable training site where we have 1,500 members right now collaborating together. I do coaching in there. I've got endless modules of content and valuable information for you to launch and grow your recruiting business. All right, guys, until next time, keep grinding.